Hey everyone, it's me Triton, and I'm bringing you my very first Destiny PvP commentary, and today I want to talk about my impressions in regards to the 2.1.1 update which came the past last Tuesday, February 9th. Now, most people know this signified the start of Crimson Doubles, and I'll get to that a little bit later in the video. However, it also brought about a very significant change to the way that 3v3 playlists would function going forward, in that players would no longer spawn with special ammo, but instead have to wait for it to spawn in the special ammo crates scattered about the map. Now generally, I am very optimistic about the changes that Bungie makes. However, having played an entire week in this new environment, specifically Trials of Osiris and Crimson Doubles, I can confidently say that this update absolutely sucks. Everything I thought would go wrong with this absolutely did. For starters, the games were painfully slow, as teams constantly just sat in their spawn by their closest special ammo crate, danced or just sat on it, and waited for the special ammo to pop up. Then they would run big circles around the map, team firing everybody in hopes of getting all of the other special ammo crates and pretty much dominating the rest of the game. Look. I can appreciate not like getting sniped within the first couple seconds of a match or getting worried by a shotgun user, but sitting back, doing nothing for the first 30 seconds of a game, then just trying to position yourself to get the rest of the special ammo all while not trying to really kill anybody because you don't want to die, is extremely boring. That can't be what Bungie envisions for us in these playlists. Now, my second biggest frustration was the use of Icebreaker. Okay, it's a year one weapon making a constant appearance when I get to seven or eight wins on my trials card. Why? Because teams would position themselves around Rusted Lands in such a way that they could snipe all of the special ammo crates and keep a view off of it. This was extremely annoying because Icebreaker would do a one shot headshot even when players were below 290 light. That is absolutely stupid and it soured my experience. Now. On to Crimson Doubles. This was the worst time I've ever had in PvP, period. Why? Because it was not billed to us as this really sweaty environment where we'd get nothing. No, Crimson Doubles was supposed to be this chill, new playlist where you can bring a date, have fun, get some cool and unique loot, and just generally have a good time. Well, that's not the case because of skill-based matchmaking, and it just so happens that my date Wild Thing and I happen to be pretty confident at PvP, and it completely made every single match absolutely sweaty. That wasn't very fun, but you know what? It would have been bearable if one of those 320 ghosts would have ever dropped. As it is, between the two of us, we probably played over 60 to 70 games and never got any of the ghosts, let alone a 321. Ironically enough, I played one game on Xbox, it absolutely terrible, and somehow got the 320 ghost, but in terms of getting one on PlayStation 4, never happened. And Bungie knew that the drop rate was so terrible, because last Friday they issued a statement saying that if you've at least played seven games of this, we'll give you a 320 ghost. That's pretty pathetic in my opinion. Look, there's a lot of things Bungie could have done with this update that would have actually been meaningful to the players, and actually kind of resonated with what most people are saying on forums and Reddit. People don't like fireball grenades, especially with Viking Funeral. People really want Bungie to think about the way Fast Revive works. People want heavy ammo out of Trials of Osiris. Why were none of these things addressed? Instead, they gave us an event, didn't advertise it correctly, and they also took out special ammo for just seemingly no reason when there's been a ton of other problems in the game. I'm still very optimistic that some things will change. I still do love Destiny and I love this game and its community, but right now, things are looking pretty bleak. But thanks guys for listening to my very first commentary. Please leave comments below for things you'd like to hear in the future. And until that time, hope everyone has a good day.